You're listening to The Rick and Suzanne Show. Darn him, but Mrs. Cleary, this is pretty sudden. You've been playing cat and mouse with me ever since you came here. Mrs. Cleary, I don't... Call me cat. Okay, cat. Call me... <laughs> oh, Wedding crashers oh, and a remarkable scene. scene and uh, I With will, Owen Wilson. I'll ask a bold question. You weren't really, were you? I was what? You weren't really, were you? I wasn't really naked? Yeah. No. Oh, good. I didn't think so. No. Too classy. That would not happen. No. Are you still dancing? <laughs> I am, actually. I just uh, finished doing a movie in which I played a choreographer, and uh, I had the privilege of dancing with 16 amazingly brilliant 18 to 20 year old dancers and uh, I play this choreographer and I, I chastise them all for not doing it properly and show them how to dance and sing to Lady Gaga in a blonde <laughs> wig, a blonde short wig and I emerge from this crowd in the splits held by two guys with my hands on my hips. Trust me. Wow. That was a challenge. <laughs> Jane Seymour. That was a challenge, but that will you will enjoy that one. I, I definitely enjoy doing it. How many movies over the years? How many have there been? I have no idea, but I get scared when I watch when I look at IMDb. It's pretty scary. It's a pretty long There's list. There's a very long list, especially since some of them are 32 hours long. <laughs> <laughs> that counts as what uh, 16 movies, right? Oh, because of these long <laughs> series, right? Yeah, the mini right. series yeah, and the things War like and that. Remembrance was 32 hours long, and East of Eden. I don't know that how many. That was another the big Six one. or eight mo hours, yes. But I, I did a couple this year. I did one called Austin Land that I think is going to be very funny. Um, the people who did Napoleon Dynamite made it, and it's uh, about this, these people, women who are nuts for Jane Austen, and, you know, they end up going to England to this awful place that I run where they get dressed up in Regency gear, and, and I put them through their paces, and they get to, you know, meet young men and older men and, and you know, live out their fantasies with Mr. Darcy. Oh, my God. And uh, the other one... But there one, are a lot of clubs like this. Well, a apparently, of, yes. yes. It, it was taken from a book uh, written by Shannon Hill. It was very, very funny. And then the, um, the other movie I just did was called Elixir, and that was for ABC Family. And that was the one I just told you about, the one where I played the uh, choreographer. But uh, uh, Sarah Paxton and Chelsea Kane are in that. Chelsea Kane plays me younger at sort of 25. Mm -hmm. She does a lot of the major dancing. <laughs> she was in dancing with the <laughs> And I think I did something called Franklin and Bash the other day, playing a, a Peter Bash's mother. That has, won't come out till April. So I think April you'll see a lot of me. I, you know, I, it's just amazing the amount of energy that you have. And, of course, with everything that you do, including the jewelry, the art, the acting, the dancing. Now, you've got your husband of 18 years, 18 or 19 years now, James Keach. I think Keach. we've been married 18, but we've been together for 20 or okay. more. Oh, of course, you know, she's married to James Keach, who was an actor. Uh, a, a renowned director and producer now. Did the two of you ever work on projects together? So many, yes. We, we That's how we met. We did a movie called Sunstroke that we both produced. I starred and he directed. We've done, I, I think, I don't know, ten, eight or ten or maybe more movies um, together. We did a, a, a lot of the major Dr. Quinn movies were done with him. Mm -hmm. He did a lot of major ones. Uh, he had a movie that just came out called Waiting for Forever that's a wonderful movie that I produced and or helped produce and he directed with Rachel Bilson mm. and a young guy called Tom Sturridge. Um, I did one with him called Blind Dating with Chris Pine, who's a big star now. That's mm -hmm. well yeah. worth catching up on DVD. <laughs> I play a crazy psychiatrist in that and yet again I, I my clothes do disappear. Um, <laughs> we won't, it's a very different character, real. though. Don't get too excited. But, and, you, but, uh, you, but your comedies, your comedy, I do a lot is of comedy. Brilliant. It's brilliant. And isn't that wild? Nobody ever thought of me for comedy, and now it's just I get offered comedy all the time. It's like they reinvented me, and and I, I love it. It's so much fun. Uh, I have to, a serious thing too, though, yeah. because you're working on something with Glenn Campbell. Yes. And mm. Alzheimer's. Tell me about that. Well, um, we're making the uh, my husband and his partner Trevor Albert um, an opera. Company, we're making a documentary about Glenn, uh, about his life, and about the tour that he's on right now. He's doing a global tour for his new album, and um, we're also interviewing everyone who's ever worked with him, his family. He was, you know, he was part of the Wrecking Crew, who are these amazing guys that uh, that did all the studio instrumentation for the greatest musicians of that, of that time, and also dealing with the reality of Alzheimer's. You know what it is, what you can do about it. Um, it it's an absolutely fascinating documentary and uh, I, very exciting and, and at the same time incredibly moving because, you know, he 
he doesn't sometimes know where he is, but he gets up on stage and just gives a performance that's extraordinary. So if you have the chance to see him on this last tour, you definitely should. We have to find a way to say goodbye to Jane Seymour, and not I'm not yet. sure how we're going to do that. Not and we're yet. Not, not yet, but in just a moment. Black Queen on the Red King, Miss... Solitaire. My name's Bob. You're listening to The Rick and Suzanne Show. James Bob. I know who you are, what you are, and why you have come. You have made a mistake. You will not succeed. And that is uh, Solitaire, of course, Jane Seymour, 1973, Live and Let Die, opposite Roger Moore, one of the Bond girls, one of the Bond with girls. us in studio. An exclusive club. Jane, just before we let you go, I d would like to ask you about, you know, you're married to James Keach, but his brother is also a well-known actor, Stacy Keach, and he's always been one of those that I've admired because he's just, he's, he's played that Mike Hammer, that really hard guy, and I just so enjoyed him recently in comedies. Um, he did, uh, he was doing one comedy show with the uh, stand-up comedian uh, Chris, anyway, the, the show started each time with, with, the, with the kid wanting to hang himself, and he played his, his, his dad. And then, of course, the turn he did on Two and a Half Men, playing uh, Charlie Sheen's uh, fiancé's gay father, yes. who was in love with his gay partner from, uh, they were in the Navy together, two tough dudes, and yet still so very loving and very wonderful. And I just wondered, this guy, I mean, he's amazing. He comes in, he's always there. How does what's he like? Oh, he's amazing. He's fantastic. And you know, when you get the two brothers together, it's hysterical because I don't know. This one of the classic westerns of all time is the Long Riders. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's considered one of the classic westerns ever, and they played the James brothers, but uh, Frank and Jesse James. So he's hysterical, and and so is James. James is hysterical too, and and an actor. So when the two of them get together, it's uh, ridiculous actually. You, he's on Broadway right now. I'm going to go and see him um, in a. Yeah, very soon. He's, uh, I think, January. Yeah. The, uh, you know, we're in that awkward position yeah. where we, we have to say goodbye because the clock says so. We don't want to. Uh, we do want to do a shout-out, though, to uh, part yes. of your staff who's here from Montreal. Well, absolutely. Deborah Pearl is, uh, she's our, our favorite person that ever worked for us. She's uh, been helping me with everything in my life. When you ask me how can I do everything, it's because of Deborah Pearl, who is from Montreal and went to McGill. So there you go. I've got to give a shout out to her family. Amazing okay. small world. Though. It is. Yes. It? Well, she she helped you out when you were shooting a. I Dr. was shooting Quinn Dr. Dr. Quinn, and she came on to be one of those sort of on the set assistants, and I stole her. I stole her from Canada. <laughs> she was going to work with her for ten days, and it's been ten years now, yeah, at least. <laughs> Jane, thank Wonderful. you so much. Um, the, the, consider the vaccinations uh, when it comes to what's it called again? The <laughs> pneumococcal disease. There or we go. PD for short. Which is why Jane came and shared some time with. This Aaron Rand coming up. Did you want to just he's, he's quickly tell us what to expect? He's standing back here in the corner, being guys, very quiet. You guys are so bust up about you. If you want, if you can stay for a few more minutes, you can stay on my show as well. I have no problem with that. <laughs> I have no, to ask serious. my. Oh, no. I, I, there's, a, there's, there's a, a somebody watches. tapping a watch. Uh, we will be gathering this up online, though, and uh, you'll yes. see video footage of Jane in the studio once we get edited at cjd.com on our show page. Uh, Sheldon, thanks for you know pushing all the right buttons. Dan Delmar for producing. Jane Seymour for sharing some time with us. And Suzanne. And Ricky P., lovely spending the afternoon with you, Jane. It's been absolutely marvelous spending the half hour with you. Most important of all, thank you for making us a part of your afternoon. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you.